Hey guys, welcome back to Dirty Diesel Mechanic. Today we're going to replace and install a new trailer airbag suspension. And if you guys see that, it's just subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button wherever the arrow is. That'd be really appreciated. You can see right now I'm a supply and shop arrow. You can do, or you can use a tractor to supply the air. Um, you can see. Make sure you chalk everything up. I'm adding shop air 125 psi. And you can see I put turn the air on. And now we're going to go look for leaks in the back and see what, exactly where it's leaking at. It's always a good idea to do that. I have a bottle of soapy water, and we're just going to spray and see where you can find the leak. You can see where right now where the arrow is. Uh, you can see it's it's such a bad leak that it's just spraying down right there. So we're going to replace this whole airbag air on the was it the uh, passenger side rear. The second it's a uh, two axle a trailer. Yeah, you can see it better there where it's leaking out of that. Spraying out pretty good. It's a pretty bad air leak. So we're gonna release. So you have 125, 125 psi. So we're gonna release this uh, trailer air out of the system. It's bought back. All right, guys. We're gonna use the screw loose pen journey oil on the airbag mounting um, nuts. There's three mounting nuts here. So the reason we're using it is because usually a, a lot of times, as you know, trailers go through all kinds of uh, elements, snow, sleet, and they could be very really difficult to get off. And you can't get it, usually you can't get an impact gun on these ones, or uh, you gotta do it by hand. So, and sometimes I've had in the past where you had to get, heat them up with the torch, or even cut them off to get so uh, rusted out. So we're gonna set this, spray this penetrating oil on these uh, nuts and let them sit for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and see if we can get these off. And first we're gonna take the fitting off of the top here. You can see right there. We're gonna loosen that up and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. As you can see, I'm gonna take this, uh, the air supply to this airbag and we're gonna block off the air to this uh, supply to this airbag so we can lift up the trailing air with the other three airbags and so, and it, and so we can pull it out. Because if you don't have a jack, this is what you do. I'm gonna loosen these up. As you can see, it works so fast. And guys, if uh, if you enjoy this video, I really appreciate it. There's right there in the right hand corner. You can subscribe or like. It'd be really appreciated. I'm super fast at this, ain't I, guys? Hands move like lightning. All right, guys. And I'm gonna take this TFA fitting off and we're gonna plug it up with the, I always have all kinds of different um, pipe fittings, brass pipe fittings. So we're gonna block this other end off and we're gonna put it back on. So when we add the air supply, um, it won't leak and we can use the other three air bags to pick up the, the trail in the air so we can remove this air, bad air bag, leaking air bag. So we can tighten this up. and tight. Let's put it back on. Tighten it up. and tight. Get it nice and tight. Now we're going to loosen the mounting nuts on the mounting air, th this mounting airbag. Now we're going to loose the mounting nuts on this airbag. You got to get a pretty long work, uh, it's half inch drive ratchet. Sometimes these can be really tight, but this one wasn't too bad because I had the uh, penetrating oil on there. So it came pretty loose, luckily, thank God. Get this nut off, we're gonna go to the next one. And you can see I, super, I work super fast. <laughs> Let's get inside. 
this one. This one's pretty a little more tighter. I'm gonna extend the rat, my extendable ratchet out. Sometimes the, in the past, the ones I've had to have said before that you gotta heat them up with the torch because they're so rusted out or cut them off. I hear that. That was pretty tight. Not too bad. This wasn't that tight at all. Alright, we're gonna rock back to the trailer and we're gonna add add air back in the, the we're gonna resupply air back to the rear of the suspensions. So we're gonna put shop air or if you had a, a tractor you can do the same thing. So it's 125 psi and we're in the rear of the trailer. So we can lift the airbags up in the air so you, uh, as I block that fitting. So the other three bags are going to pick up the, the rear of the trailer so we can move this airbag out. So you, it's going to go look at magic. Look at it go. As you watch this, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. That's my monotone Boeing voice. I know you enjoy it. Here we go. It's good. Now, another tricks if you have trouble picking this out, I'm gonna show you in the, down the road on this video. You can disconnect the levering valve and you can pick it up higher. Um, but I guess I was lazy at the time, but I was gonna have to do it anyways. But I guess to work it out on this one. Just remember, if you have trouble, you still can't get it out when it pick. When it goes, picks it up, and there's still not enough room, disconnect the leveling valve, and you can pick it up a higher. Which I'll show you down the video on this, because I had to hit, as you'll see why I'll do it. All right, that that one's out. That was it. Now I got to put the new one in. Okay, you can see where this leak was. It's pretty damaged right here. We've well, seen that leak with the water when I spring water. Right there, it's pretty gouged up. And these part numbers are on the right on the bag to get to get the part numbers when you get a new one uh, matched up. I think this is a Hendrickson airbag. Yeah, I think so. Hendrickson Hendrickson airbag. All right. See this fitting? We got to take this fitting out, which to put it in the new one because there's different applications they probably use for these airbags. So on the, this, we have to block this side because the other side would be probably with the left. So um, as you can see. Uh, that one was so rusted out, I couldn't get it out. So I'm gonna use this brass pipe fitting to block off the air. I'm gonna use this uh, pipe goop to seal it up better, or pipe thread, or whatever you have. So I'm gonna dab it on. As you can see, I'm recording right now, so it's hard to do with things with one hand on the fly. All right, remember, guys, I was talking about the living valve. This it is. So we're gonna disconnect this leveling valve um, as the air. It's still supplied right now, so we can pick it up or drop it down with, when we disconnect it right there at the, to the little linkage that goes down. We're gonna see it go down. We're gonna disconnect it right now. I think it's like seven sixteenths usually or seven sixteenths. I guess I'm having a little difficulty trying to get this thing off. Come on, buddy. Let's get. Let's move it. Come on, let's move it. As we move it, please subscribe. See, see the bag move up there when I push it up. See it raise up a little bit. That's all you gotta do. So we're, I'm just gonna move over. Now, as you can you see, my finger. You can see. I'm gonna point to it. See it raise up in the air. Pretty cool. So if you had that before, what I was telling you, if you have a problem, you can't get the airbag out, you can pick it up higher so you can get it out fully if you're having trouble. The reason I'm doing this too, and I waited, when you set this down, you have to kind of line it up when you set it down. You can't just go away and come back. Better just to disconnect it and guide it in the hole. Just drop it down. A 
little slow here, but should have edited that out, but you guys can see the whole effect. Alright, it's pretty much down now. I'm letting all the air out. Put the top mounting and uh, nuts on. Get them snug. No, not snug yet. I have to put them all on first. Bring this one down. I put the bottom mounting nut down. You can see right there in the bottom mounting bolt on. I'm going to tighten this one up right now. The extension, tighten it up. Nice and tight. Zip, zip, zap, zip, zip, zap. it up, get this really tight. You hear? Get the inner one tightened. That's my torque wrench right there for you. I just put this a leveling valve we used to pick, raise it up to get the to set it down on the airbags or if you need to pick it up higher to get it out nice and tie it back on. Seven sixteenths I think it is. Usually there's seven sixteenths. Just take off this uh, T fitting back off so we can screw it back on the airbag and take that pipe fitting back on. Take it back off, sorry. Remember again if you guys enjoy this video as I'm working here. Uh, any comments you want to leave, it'd be nice. Um, like, subscribe, or dislike, or if things you would like to see, further see, more information, just shoot me a comment. I appreciate everything. I really appreciate if you can subscribe. That'd be nice and make it more beneficial and put more videos out. See, I moved the brass fitting there. Pipe fitting, we're going to put that T fitting back on. Remember guys, that subscribe button right there is right there in the right hand corner. Just click it, it takes six seconds. And we put this air, the air lines back on, the T-fit back on, and tighten it up. I'm going to get these all tightened up here. I'm gonna add, we're going to resupply the 125 PSI to check for leaks and make sure everything's working on the back. Fly the air back to the rear of the trailer for the airbags to pop up. Oh, it looks good. Let's spray this with water. Make sure there's no leaks. Finish repair. Hey, right guys, right there in the middle. Can you please uh, subscribe to my channel or like or dislike? And you can see some other videos on the left, the right hand side. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.